If I'm going to do one Christmas decoration at Christmas time, I'm going to do a nativity. Uh, and if I'm going to do any nativity set, just one, which I think is sort of narrow thinking, I like to have several nativity sets displayed. But if I'm going to do one, I want to do my parents, one of my parents' sets of nativities. Uh, they uh, designed two. One towards the very end of their career, it's called the pageant nativity, and I oftentimes use that. But this year I decided to use their uh, main nativity set that they designed, actually began designing in the late 1970s and premiered in the early 1980s. Uh, my parents were intimidated by trying to do justice to the nativity scene. They'd had requests for many, many years, and finally they rolled up their sleeves and decided we're going to do it. And uh, they set about to start with, with the Holy Family. And uh, we have some dear family friends, and my mother went and uh, took some photographs of uh, their daughter. Her name is Kay Christensen, her, it was at that time, and she modeled for my mother's portrait of Mary. And my dad did a portrait of Joseph and a baby Jesus, and they, uh, they had the essential set. And uh, many additional pieces were to come in the years to come. But we had Mary and Joseph, baby Jesus. Very shortly after, they designed a donkey. My dad worked out a, a donkey figure. And this was the core nativity set that, that began their, their collection. Now, this year, the first time ever, I decided to have their dolls, the nativity set, featured as the centerpiece on the dining room table. I've never done this before. They've, they've been, you know, above the fireplace or in the bay window, but never as a centerpiece on the table, which uh, was a challenge for me because I wanted to showcase the Holy Family and the event of Jesus' birth but not completely overwhelm uh, the table, uh, which you have to keep that in mind when you're doing a centerpiece. But I, I came close. I came close to overwhelming the table, but uh, included Joseph and Mary, baby Jesus. And uh, this particular year, uh, we have kind of a, a vignette, including the drummer boy, which was a piece they did some years later. I also included uh, one of my dad's very first donkeys. Uh, they were concerned how they were going to, to mold the donkey. And um, I think he designed the original out of maybe a, a, a kind of a wax material. And they had a lot of struggle having a material that didn't break into hundreds of pieces when it was shipped. That's always been a problem with the donkey. He's very, very fragile. But that, that there is one of the very first donkeys that they designed. And then I also featured the sheep that my dad designed. And then the camel over here was uh, actually something that my parents purchased in Bethlehem. They were on a tour of the Holy Lands and they found a, a merchant there that was carving and selling um, camels. And they fell in love with them and they brought Debbie and me uh, one of the, the camels, and then later on they corresponded with this merchant and worked out a special uh, plan to, to ship uh, their camels from Bethlehem. And for many, many years my parents sold uh, the, uh, the camel as part of the nativity set with the, the three kings, which were eventually to come. They also designed shepherds and uh, beautiful shepherds, and it was hard not to include them, but again, it would have overwhelmed uh, the, uh, the manger scene here to do that on the, the dining room table. And actually, the, uh, the centerpiece of, of Christ's birth was what I wanted to feature here. Such an important uh, uh, decoration at Christmas time to celebrate Christ's birth. So it's, uh, we, we have a new dining room uh, we've kind of redecorated everything, so I had great fun in working out kind of an extension above uh, the nativity scene, which carries as a, as, a, as a bow above the table and across the room, and the lights come down. I, I use lots of, uh, uh, you know, wood and, 
natural uh, looking textures, which was really my parents' challenge when they designed the dolls. They wanted to have lots of detail, lots of texture, and be a real honest, authentic representation of, uh, of Mary and Joseph. Uh, they worked really hard to work this out, and it was a, a labor of love. And uh, uh, I can't help when I look at this to think of, uh, of the hymn, Silent Night. Uh, uh, Silent Night, Holy Night, beautiful lyrics, and it closes with Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. Jesus, Lord, at thy birth. And uh, that's uh, the, the, the hallmark, the centerpiece. Uh, it's Christmas itself. So uh, I love using my parents' dolls. And uh, everyone in the Simpich family at Christmas 2020 wishes you and yours a very Merry Christmas.